Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Kimmy from the Beardsy Library and today I'm coming back with you with another craft to do and today we will be making DIY window clings. So I thought these would be fun to do because um, you can put them on your windows. I've been, when I drive around I see a lot of people with hearts on their windows or their doors or at their homes to um, support essential workers. So I thought this would be fun to do so you can make it and you can put it on your windows to support um, our essential workers, such as our nurses and our EMTs and our doctors and everyone else. So um, I thought this would be a super cool idea to do. And it's super easy where anyone could do it if you want your kids to do it, younger kids, um, teens, adults. I really enjoy doing it as well. So um, I'll show you what you guys need. Um, so first you're gonna need some food coloring. Um, you, a paintbrush is optional. Um, I'll show you two different methods of how I'm going to do it. Paintbrush is optional depending on which way you do it. You'll need some glue. Um, I know if you don't have, well, most people have glue compared to the other, this other thing. But a lot of people use puffy paint to um, do this as well. But I don't have puffy paint and I don't didn't buy any puffy paint. I just had glue, so I just stuck with glue. So you need some glue, some dish soap. Uh, I have a tablespoon here as well to show a different way. So, and you then you'll need a piece of plastic. So I have like a sandwich bag here. That's what I'll be using, but you can use um, like saran wrap and just lay it flat so you can make your materials. And then also um, those protector sheets where you put, you slide a piece of paper in between the two plastic sheets and you put them in binders. If you have one of those, you can use that as well. And then I also printed an image which is this heart, and um, just to help me guide where my lines will be. So, but you don't have to do that, that's optional. If you just wanna go for it, you can. So, and then I have a plate to put stuff. So if you have a new bottle of glue, um, we're gonna dump some out on a plate, but don't throw the plate out because that's just a waste of glue. You can reuse it again. So I already dumped some out because I did some, but I'm gonna dump a little bit out because I gotta show you guys. Um, the other way to do it. So I'm going to dump about a tablespoon. I didn't want to use my tablespoon and get glue in it. So I'm just kind of guess right now. So you want to dump some glue out. Because we're going to make be mixing stuff in this bottle and you don't want it to um, you don't want it to spill out because we'll need to be mixing a little bit. So um, to mix inside here, you can use like um, the end of a paintbrush, a gold pencil that you don't need, a pen. If you have like a little wooden dowel, um, you can use that as well. Just something to mix in here. So I'm gonna show you the first way with, with the bottle of glue. I like the bottle of glue because you can, um, it's tough because if you want multiple colors, then you have to get individual bottles of glue. So if you want red, you put red in here, then have a blue and then a the yellow. You have to get all different colors. But um, I only made one other color here. So you have to get multiple to get different colors if you want to do different colors. So um, in this glue, you take it off. And then I like the glue because then you can um, draw your design with the tip of the glue. And it's a lot easier than using like a paintbrush. So my first way is dump some of that glue. I have it to about right here, just so I have enough. And then you're gonna put a tablespoon of dish soap in it. So, a tablespoon here, and then we're gonna pour it right into the bottle. Awesome, I'm gonna put that aside. And then you're gonna put your food coloring. Get some paper towel, clean this up a little bit. You're gonna put your food coloring in it, depending on how vibrant you want it. I don't have any red, which made me sad because I wanted red ones, so I put them on my window. But um, I'm gonna do green because I have a blue one already ready. So you're gonna put as many food uh, drops of food coloring in there. And I just have the end of a paintbrush, I'm just gonna wash it again later. And then you're just gonna mix it. You can just shake it but it's kind of hard to shake a bottle of glue as well. So that's why I chose to use like a paintbrush to kind of like spread it a little bit easier. 
but I will. I did shake my other one. I did shake a little bit. It's going to get messy. That's why I have like my mat right here and everything. And that's why we dump some of the glue off because if you're pushing it down, it was like my first one was coming up. So just really get around. And then once it sits too, like my blue one kind of went all the way down as well. So let's mix that up. I'm just doing this really quick. That's why it's becoming very messy. <laughs> so I have a nice green color and that's how you make the first one. So if you if you only have one bottle of glue, um, and you, if you just want one color, then that's fine. But if you want multiple colors and you have only have the one bottle of glue, you can put some on a plate, and then put um, it's about one tablespoon, and put about two or three drops of the soap on it, and then I use yellow since I haven't used yellow, yellow yet, and then just put the food coloring in there too, and then you just take a paintbrush. And just get mixed uh, paint. So this you can use one bottle of glue and then you can get all different colors and everything. Um, this way the window clings come out a little thinner but they still do work. I recommend using the bottle. It's a lot um, easier control when you're drawing on the plastic wrap. So uh, you could either use the plate which I have ready here with a paintbrush or you can use the bottles. I have two, so I have a blue and a, a green now. So then, after you have all your mixtures all mixed up, you're going to take your plastic wrap. And um, this is up to you on how you want to do it and how patient you are and whatnot. You can either kind of just outline your shape and then just let that dry and then fill it in. Or you could just do it all at once. It might um, kind of flow out a little bit. But you can also, these are super thin as well, and um, you can uh, cut them. So if they kind of lose their shape, you can kind of go back. I made um, a smiley face right here, and my eyes combined. But I just cut them back into circles. So it's not totally messed up if they leak together, which is okay. Yeah. So you can either do this, and um, so I'm just going to follow my outline. When you first mix it together, it gets like, you get the food coloring in the top, so it's like a super, that's what happened right here. It was like super blue. So you just take your glue, and you're going to follow your picture, or you can do your own thing. So either you can leave it, like this and let it dry. Mine, I left mine for about 24 hours to dry. So you can leave that and then fill it in or we can just fill it in right now. You can either do this and then um, if you want to take your paintbrush again. You can kind of use it to fill in some of the holes as well. Or you can just keep filling it in with the glue. So this looks very thick, but I'll show you the one I made. It came out super thin. So you're gonna you're gonna let that sit for about 24 hours. Look how thin it came out super thin. Anyway, so it looks very thick, but it will come out a lot thinner once it dries. So I followed my heart and now I'm just gonna do a few other ones. Like I said, it might run, so just be careful. Um, my I did a K as well, and that kind of went into a little bit of a blob, and I kind of just cut it to get it a better shape. And then um, I'm just gonna do like some yellow on here. So you kind of put on. If you're gonna do a paintbrush, you kinda gotta do it kind of thick. Do a smiley face. There's one eye. Do another eye and then do the smiley face. You can do it if you have all the colors, you can do a nice rainbow. 
with it as well. So there's my smiley face. So I'm gonna let these dry for 24 hours and then once you do that, um, I'll show you again all my ones that I made. I'll put that aside, let that dry. And then these are the ones I made. And then I'm gonna post a picture at the end in the comments of them on my window. They do very, stick very well. And if um they're not sticking well, they don't, I think the dish soap helps um, with the kind of the residue. They didn't leave too much residue on my window. And if um, they're not sticking well, you can always add some water to the back of it. And they can go on either side. I also had some green ones that I did that I, this is just my paintbrush one. So this did come out a lot thinner, but it still did cling onto my window and everything. I just did some random shapes just to practice with the paintbrush to see how that would work for me. So I just did some blobs and stuff, but um, definitely I love doing the heart. I wish I had red so I could put them in red, but um, I might still put this out on my window. So that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope you guys try it. Super fun and easy. You put them on your windows. Um, I have a little bit of a bay window, so I might uh, make some more and just stick them all over. You can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, depends on what you want to do and how big of a sheet you have. Like I said, you can use saran wraps. You can do like a big saran wrap and just do a really big heart. You could just do a bunch of little hearts like this and everything. So I hope you guys try it and maybe you'll make some hearts to put on your windows for essential workers that are working during this time. And um, I hope you guys stay safe and I'll see you on Thursday. Thanks and have a good day.